There's never a shortage of opinions when it comes to calories. Do you count them? Do you not count them? But these questions aren't nearly as kind in today's landscape. It's more like the battle between you must count calories if you want to lose weight versus calories don't matter and they never did. So how are you supposed to keep everything straight? And more importantly, what the hell's a calorie? Hey everyone, if you're new here, my name is Mike Herring. I'm a board certified internal medicine physician. I'm a certified personal trainer. I've been in the health and fitness industry for over a decade. And today I wanna to teach you what a calorie is and why we care about it so much for weight loss. So what is a calorie? It's far simpler than you think. Like a mile or a kilometer, a gram or an ounce. It's just a unit of measurement. By definition, a calorie is the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius. That's it. Nothing magical about that. So why do we care so much about calories in weight loss? Because calories are how we measure our own energy balance, or the energy we take in in the form of food and drink versus the energy we expend, whether it's exercise or digestion or the complex processes going on in our body 24 hours a day, seven days a week for our entire lives. The energy we get from food is classically broken down by macronutrient. For every one gram of carbohydrates, we get about four calories. For every one gram of protein, we get about four calories. For every one gram of fat, we get about nine calories, and often overlooked, but also very important, for every one gram of alcohol, we get seven calories. These macronutrients, once consumed, go through varying stages of breakdown. I would spend more time on this, but I'm afraid this simplified diagram of human metabolism will give me terrible, terrible flashbacks to my nutrition and metabolism block in medical school. <sighs> Yikes. Think of it this way, when we break down food to get energy, we're actually breaking the bonds holding those tiny little molecules together. Hard to conceptualize. Go outside, grab a stick, and then break it. Do you hear a sound? That's energy. Same thing happens, although in a far more complicated fashion at a much smaller scale, in all of our cells to create the energy we need to stay alive. So the big question, why do we care about it for fat loss? Animal bodies are smart. We know that it's not likely to get a constant stream of nutrition throughout the entirety of our lives. So we had to come up with a way to store it. This comes in a few forms, but let's talk about storing it as adipose tissue or fat. If we consume more calories necessary to maintain our current size, our body just doesn't get rid of that energy, we store it. Assuming all the other tissues are saturated with whatever energy storage system they use, like glycogen in your liver, for example, it'll be stored as adipose tissue or fat. If we consume fewer calories than are needed to maintain our current size, our bodies will tap into those energy stores to keep us going. What energy source that is depends on a number of things like your activity level, what your diet looks like, but that's for a different video. Now, I don't want to belittle the seemingly infinite factors that can impact somebody's weight, nor would I ever suggest that you must actively track your calories in order to lose or gain weight. That being said, weight loss and weight gain is just a matter of where on that energy balance spectrum you sit and how long you've been there. That's it. There are so, so many different ways of getting into a calorie deficit or a calorie surplus to lose or gain weight respectively, both with and without tracking your calories. But I hope this explanation has allowed you a better understanding of what a calorie is, and hopefully that understanding can help you further your own health and fitness goals. So I hope you learned something. If there's something else you'd like to learn, drop it in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video.